Ecological Succession Ecological Succession Change is inevitable within communities. Older members die, new organisms immigrate, and sudden disturbances force change. Ecological succession is a term used to describe the series of expected changes that occur within a community over time. The first photo shows a forest one year after a forest fire. The second picture is the same forest two years after the fire. Primary succession. Primary succession refers to the founding of new communities in environments that initially had no living organisms, like rocks, new surfaces formed by volcanic eruptions, new surfaces caused by the movements of glaciers. The retreat of a glacier left behind this bare rock that can now undergo primary succession. Pioneer species. In primary ecological succession, the first organisms to populate an uninhabited environment are called the pioneer species. Lichen is the first organism to grow on the bare rock. It is the pioneer species. Bare rock left after a retreat of a glacier, over time, then the lichens, followed by moss, begin growing on the rock. As they die, the decaying matter is added to the rock, producing soil. Primary succession. Nutrients supplied by decaying organic matter support the growth of grasses and small plants. The grasses add more nutrients to the soil as they die and decay, which forms deeper, more fertile soil. Primary Succession Decaying organic matter create deeper soils that can hold water, allowing small shrubs to colonize and grow. Climax Communities Finally, larger trees can grow on the mature soil, and climax communities form. Climax communities are the organisms that remain stable in an ecosystem over time. Secondary succession. After ecosystems are dramatically altered by fires, floods, disease, or human activity, community interactions often restore ecosystems to their original condition. This happens a lot faster in primary succession, because in the case of secondary succession, even though the ecosystem is wiped out, the nutrients that remain from the organisms that were once there can be used to allow new organisms to come in versus primary succession, you start off with nothing except rock. The re-establishment of climax communities in an ecosystem is called secondary succession. So if the ground is cleared, let's say, in an existing community to grow a single crop, and then the ground is abandoned, new species will begin to grow. The small shrubs again colonize, and a new climax community forms. This can easily be seen in someone's lifetime, maybe about 20 or 30 years.